I have not done anything in my life since I was 10 except act. So I am very cognizant of every single choice that I have made to get myself here. And so I have a lot of hard-won confidence, even when I have doubt. Because trust me, I have huge doubt. But I understand when, that, when the doubt is, uh, is about pushing you forward or pushing you into a bigger place, doubt is extremely important for the creative process. There's no question, 2021 was a banner year for Sandra Oh. Besides co-starring in a pair of animated projects, playing Debbie Grayson, the mother of the title character in the Amazon Prime series Invincible. I used to change your diapers, kid. There's nothing going on down there I haven't seen before. And Verana, the leader of the Fang tribe in the Disney film Raya and the Last Dragon. If we had the dragon and the gem pieces, we would be forgiven. We could save the world. The 12-time Emmy-nominated actress also landed the lead, Professor Ji Yun Kim, in the six-episode Netflix series, The Chair. You're the chair. I'm the chair. I'm the chair. I'm the chair. And last, but definitely not least, Sandra recently finished filming the fourth and final season of the hit BBC America thriller, Killing Eve, in which she, of course, plays the title role of Eve Palastri. I believe there is a female assassin operating internationally and she's targeted a number of influential people. She doesn't have a signature, but she certainly has style and I don't know who or what is behind her, but I don't think she's slowing down and that just interested me. You're catching me actually at such a special moment because I absolutely, I just finished uh, the finale of uh, Killing Eve, the fourth season, and so I'm still in this kind of magical place of, of finishing a show, and it's been an emotional whole season. Do you know what I mean? It's, I think it's been emotional all the way. For Eve, it's really saying goodbye to her after four years, and so no, I'm just still in the midst of trying to process that. It's okay, well, I, 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 but, uh, baby! I, I, it's okay, wait, 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 go. What was it? Was it? Was it? I fell asleep on both my arms. Killing Eve premiered in 2018, and over the next three years, Sandra accomplished a lot. Not only did she make history as the first Asian woman to be nominated for a Best Actress Emmy. You're sort of glowing. Gosh. She also added producing to her resume, becoming one of the show's executive producers in 2020, and then serving again as EP on The Chair. The dean has my back, so let's just Get your case through, and then let's shake this place up. Meanwhile, Sandra says playing these powerful roles, both on camera and off, has helped her grow as an artist. You know, I'd say the past four years, and also being able, in some ways, to to translate it even through Ji and Professor Kim in the chair, it's about being responsible and entering into a different level of power. And of course you see in the chair Professor Kim enter into the upper echelons of power at her university and what that does to her and how difficult it is. Oh, what the oh. And I feel like definitely through growing, through killing Eve and then taking on the EP, the uh, executive producer kind of responsibilities, I've learned a lot that way. I think I've grown a lot that way and I feel slightly more confident in, in those overall skills. It's having access to the creative line. And I think particularly in television, um, if, you are the, if you are carrying the show in one way or another, you need to have, or I prefer to have access with the main creators and start a kind of collaboration where you're creating you're creating the thing together. And for something like The Chair, you know, Amanda already had all the scripts written. She had a clear vision. But the access that I had to her and the, how open she was to collaborate, there were main story structures that I was really, like basically the relationship between ji and Juju, her, her adopted daughter, it was like, I really, really want to explore it this way. And she was able to open up and to embrace it. If you don't know anything about my heritage! Guess what? The reason we're going to Oaxaca this summer is because some of your ancestors are from there. Ava's going to Disneyland. Duly. Noted. 
The Chair premiered in August and has earned rave reviews, especially for the way it explores contemporary college campus issues like ageism, sexism, and racism without seeming like a sermon. What you're saying about The Chair, which is a major feedback that I had from mostly people of color, is like no one felt preached to. And that is extremely difficult to get. It's a very, very nuanced thing. And I'd say, again, primarily, it's no one, we were not talking about this really heavily. I think the team, everyone just, um, everyone was just, again, coming from a more open place of just going how best to tell the story from, from just a, a, a wider point of view, but it, it, it takes time. It just doesn't happen. And progress is not just sticking a bunch of people of color or sticking a bunch of women or people who are not the mainstream and then just having them speak like everyone else. It's about investing in the actual character, in the circumstances, and having the entire team behind that, that it's not just a second thought or it's not, it, it's this, it, it's not efforted. It's a lived in thing, it's a lived thing. And I think that's what translates. And I think that's in some ways, I, the, the thing that I'm most proud about with the chair is how that part of the storytelling, uh, we got right. You guys talk about me? Seven people have been shot and killed in Georgia tonight in the Atlanta metro area. In March, when news broke of the tragic 2021 Atlanta spa shootings, Sandra was on location in Pennsylvania filming the chair. Four days later, she spoke passionately at a Stop Asian Hate protest near downtown Pittsburgh. For many of us in our community, this is the first time we were even able to voice our, our fear and our anger, and I really am so grateful for everyone willing to, willing to listen. It was just really like, I just want to be with people. And I'm not just talking Asian people. I knew that there was going to be a bunch of people standing on some corner somewhere in Pittsburgh. And I wanted to be with them because there was a lot of pain and outrage. And when that happens, you need to gather together. It's the only way to get through is together. You, you know what I mean? So if you're standing side by side with someone who is not your gender or not your race, you can just go, okay, we're standing beside each other for this. We have commonality here, you know? And it was, for me, it was mostly, I, I, I really will say that it was about trying to also uh, move through fear. I know many of us in our community are very scared and I understand that. And one way to kind of go through it uh, get through our fear is to reach out to our communities. Reach out. Everyone here, I will, I will offer, I will challenge everyone here. If you see something, will you help me? Yes. If you see one of our sisters and brothers in, in, in need, will you help us? For me, I think the main, main thing is to move through the fear. The fear will exist. It will always be with us, but what to do with it? Because it just for, for me, I just did not put us into hiding. It's the way that we, we need to reach out to people who I believe are willing to just go, well, I don't believe in that either. So if you don't feel safe walking, I'll just walk beside you. But you have to reach out. We must understand as Asian Americans, we need to reach out our hand to our sisters and brothers and say, help me. And I'm here. And just for one thing, I am proud to be Asian. <laughs> And what I think was also so important that it started or, or really, really came to light after the Atlanta shootings is for ourselves and our community that don't yet, that we don't yet know what we think about things. We don't yet, we are not settled in, in an identity in any kind of way. I mean, who is at all, but that needs to, come, to be uh, more fortified 
Absolutely. You know what I mean? Because it's like, I don't know what to do. I'm angry and I'm really scared and I'm just, but it's also like, I'm so angry or resentful and scared and, and it has to do with this and this and suddenly the flood of your own experience of how, you know, you've tamped down every single aggression, microaggression and just straight out, you know, racism call comes to the forward and then you are challenged because you've tamped it down so much. What do you really think about it? How do you, how do you go to, you, you know, your friends who are not Asian and explain your experience? Do you actually understand your own experience in this moment? Because that has to come from us, not the, the upper levels of, or the wider levels of like, white patriarchy, you know, that that is really kind of f shows where everyone should be thinking. It, sh it needs to be much more nuanced and again, not performative. To be on the cover is so, I mean, it means so much to me because of this. When I was growing up, n I never saw my face on the cover. And I also felt like, how important it was to be on the cover. And I've gone through my period of just realizing there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of barriers to getting on a cover of a magazine. To be asked to be on the cover of yours is a great privilege because it normalizes things for my nephews and nieces. It's a normal thing to, well, it's not normal. You know, to normalize the fact that their aunt is on the cover of a magazine. Cause it goes this young, you're five. You're in the grocery store with, you know, a parent and, you know, the, it's on the stand and you just happen to see a picture of a lady who looks like your mom or who looks like your aunt, who looks like your, you know, and, and that what that does, I think, uh, profoundly psychologically is a tiny little step in the self of being able to see yourself, I guess. So, so thank you for that.